There you go. Okay, what we're going to show you here is the different breakers, the wire sizes, where they're used, some of the tools that we have that we've used on the projects there, and uh, some of the information that you can get from the back of the boxes, uh, from the panel boxes. Right here it shows you the different size of wires, where you're using them, the size of breakers that you need. So that's very handy in the back of these boxes. The tools that you have here are, you know, not too many tools that we really need. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's different type of pliers, screwdrivers, wire cutters. So it's really not a lot of tools. Okay. The important thing here is the wires and the breakers. What we have here is different size of wires. But we'll start over here. This is the ground, okay? The ground comes in different sizes. It could be a number six, it could be a number uh, a four or two. Depends on the city what they want. Most of the time they're using six, eight, or four, okay? This one here is a number four ground wire. It's, uh, it's insulated here. If you have it outside, this is the way they want it. If you have it inside the house, this is, you can get away with doing it like this. Where you ground, you're going to ground in three spots. The gas line, the water line, and uh, also into the ground, which is a bar, seven foot long, or into uh, the concrete with a rebar into the concrete, 20 feet long. So that's where this one goes. Right? Uh, the next one up, a uh, wire size works off of uh, the number. The lower the number, the smaller the wire. Uh, in electrical, you pretty much start at size 14. 14 is usually color coded with white and 12 moving up is yellow and then different colors for other different sizes but these are the two that you use pretty much in the whole house okay number 14 you have two ways you have the ground the neutral and your power this is a 14-2 and this, as you notice, there's a, an extra color in here. This will be a 14-3. These two colors here, the black and the red, they're still holding 110. But you get an extra one in case you want to run one wire and catch a couple of different things on, on this one here. Okay. The 12-2 the is the same way as down over here, the 14. You have 2 or 3. So this would be a 12-2 with ground or 12-3 uh, with ground. Okay, As you go up, this is a size 10, 10-3 uh, with the ground, and then you keep on going up. And this, this one here is a size uh, 6. Okay, So different sizes for different things. To the 14-2 now, you have different type of breakers here. You have the double ones that are pretty much the same space in case you need more breakers in there or single one 15 amps these three 15 amps for the 14 2 okay can't go you can't go this way 12 2 or 12 3 for the 20 amps different types okay the 10 would be for 30 amp maybe even up to a 40 amp but most most likely you're just going to stick to a 30 amp so that would be for that and now for the air conditioning or sub, uh, sub boxes, you can go up 40, 50, 60. That's either that or air conditioning. So that's where you would use the wire. As far as the length, if you go 20 feet versus 100 feet, you're going to maybe move up on sizes. You start doing the calculations. I don't want to get too into that that much to confuse you, but that's how you do it. And they have books where you can buy that and uh, do the calculations. But you know the wire size to to its breaker keep in mind this is this is the stuff that people make mistakes on a house will be hooked up with a 15 amp breaker and it keeps on popping because they have too many items on that on that run that home run then they try to put a 20 amp on this wire here what will happen there is a wire will heat up because you're running too much current on it and that's how you get fires so keep in mind that a 14-2 with a 15 amp breaker, 12-2 with a 20 amp breaker. Okay? Again, these are the same, just trying to conserve space. 
This right here, you have an arc fault. An arc fault is used uh, mainly on bedrooms where the inspectors want a bedroom to be an arc fault. The arc fault, what it does, it works off of sensor uh, balance of current, neutral and power balanced. When it detects the unbalance, it will snap a little faster than a regular breaker, than this regular breaker. So they're putting them now in the bedrooms, and that's what you want. You can catch, you know, depending, but uh, they'll go up to maybe 16 outlets, depending on what the bedrooms are. But I like to keep it a little lower than that. So that's your arc fault. Now you come into a 20, a 12-2. You also have an arc fault you could use for the bedrooms if you want a little bit more current, but it's also used for bedrooms, I mean baths. The baths, most likely you're going to go with the GFI. Keep in mind in cost, this you're looking at close to $40, $40, $13. So you could get away with one of these and continue your runs and spend only $13 instead of spending $40. So keep that in mind. Okay, you have a double one here with the 20 amp, and you also have, you can have a single one, a 20 amp. So, you got different ways of doing it here. Where do you use the 14.2 and, I mean the 12.2 and the, and the 12.3? Uh, this is pretty much going like straight to a bathroom, you know, or to a kitchen, like a refrigerator or a dishwasher, garbage disposal. Or if you want to catch two items at one shot, you can run this, 12.3. Uh, and catch two items instead of running you know more wires here so that's the reason of really there uh, you can run 220s on these but it's most likely going to be for uh, some sort of unit that only takes a, a little bit of current and want, is requiring a 220 okay now coming up to uh, the 10 wire with the 30 amp breaker that's mainly going to be for like electric uh, water heaters electric range uh, electric dryer that's where you use this up uh, it's nice when you see houses that are hooked up for gas and electric so that way it gives you the option but what how you hook up this is the neutral will go to the bar and here's the power that would go to the breakers okay so that's how you do that air conditioning the same way or a sub panel and uh, you can go to uh, 40, 50, or 60 depending on how much you want there and how long the distance is so it's the same hookup you got the two go feeding into it and then you got the white and the, the your ground going into the bars so that's pretty much the wire sizes and where they go and the breaker okay what now what we have here is the type of plugs to use for the breakers and the wires in this case here you know you have a 30 amp going into this kind of plug uh, the 20 amps, you know, you can tell right here on the side, right here, and that's how you can tell it's a 20 amp, okay, for a 20 amp breaker. You know, same thing here with the GFI, you know, right up here, okay, the GFI, mainly more for kitchens and bathrooms. And the standard 15, right here, if you notice, there's no little line, and it's for the 15 amp breakers with the wire, so that's pretty much on that.